Hello, hello. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. I'm back with another message for you. How are you? I hope you're doing well in your corner of the world. That you just need to know God is for you. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. That is how protected you are. That is how safe you are. That is how anchored you are. You are secured. When God is for you, mm, who can be against you? Who can be against us? We are blessed and highly favored. Welcome back, soul drivers, and welcome in. If it's your first time, I really hope this message will resonate. And as a result, you will uh, subscribe, become a part of the tribe. Thank you for your thumbs up, your likes. It helps to support the channel and again I love hearing from you thank you for your comments iron sharpened iron mm. it says here of course you will make mistakes but the biggest one would be not to try you have nothing to lose this thing you have been thinking about for a long time just go for it Better an oops than a what if. We are here to support you. Oh my, I love this. Don't you love it? Should I read it again? I'll, I'll, I'll do it again. It's so, it's that good. It says, of course. This is a yes. Of course. You will make mistakes. But the biggest one would be not to try. You have nothing to lose. This thing you have been thinking about for a long time, just go for it. Better an oops than a what if. We are here to support you. Again, God is for you. You have your, your entire army, the host of heaven is backing you on your side. The biggest mistake you can make is to fail to try you don't want to have this regret later on down the road when you're on your dying bed wondering what would have happened woulda coulda shoulda it's better to have a oops you can correct it you can fix it than a what if regrets you don't want to live with regrets Nuh -uh, not especially when you have God on your side. I mean, come on. It's like, don't count yourself out. I love it. I love that for you. Wow. I love it for you. I think we'll do one more. Okay. Fell out. It says, just because something is not happening right now doesn't mean that it will never happen. Divine timing is at play. Be patient and trust the process. Oh. I think a lot of us, this is like a curse word, patience, divine timing. But I think for a lot of you, a lot of us, even though it's frustrating, but I think deep down, you really know, we know that God's timing is perfect. It's best because the thing is a lot of you, a lot of us, if you were like me, made a lot of mistakes doing life doing things my way your way and then you see how it blow up right it didn't work out and then you have to go back crying pleading asking for forgiveness another shot another chance so it's like now you're you just want to let go and let god and trust the process not the get rich quick scheme even though for a lot of people that's that's attractive you only want what God has for you. You're not going to try to manipulate energies, to work witchcraft, to, to get things, to attract people to you negatively. Because you know in the end it won't work. You know, it's like if you use some spell or portion to get somebody to love you, what happens when it wear off? I mean, it's like a birth control pill. One of these days, you guys, you don't know. <laughs> but I'm just saying, one of these days, you, you, you're going to forget to take it. 
even if regular vitamins, there are some days you get up and it depends on what is going on, you forget to take it. And then you don't want to wake up beside somebody who hates you because you force, you force somebody's energy, right? No, it's like when you get it God's way, that's the good and perfect way. The good and perfect will of God. And so this is why for a lot of you, you're willing to let go and trust the process. It's like you've been through the school of hard knocks. And it's like now you realize who is really the, the boss, who is really in charge here. And so this is exactly what you're doing. You're letting go and you're letting God. But I love those trust in the process. And, and not being with this microwave society, not because it's not happening right now. It doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. Like the phrase or the saying goes, a delay does not mean a denial. When it comes to God, is either yes, no, or wait. So for those of you who have learned not to run ahead, this is, this is what this may resonate with you. That divine timing is at play. Be patient and trust the process. Trust the pro Look, oh my goodness. The first card here says mistakes. Of course you will make mistakes. But the biggest one would be not to try. You have nothing to lose. It said this thing you have been thinking about for a long time. Just go for it. Better an oops than a what if. There, your spirit team is here to support you. So for a lot of you, some of you, this is your story. You've made mistakes. You have taken risks and chances in your life. And you realize it didn't pan out well. It didn't work out. And now you're afraid to try again. You're afraid to step out in whatever area or areas of your life. You're afraid to take a risk. And divine is saying, you know, it's, it's a part of the journey. We live and we learn. This is what we're here for. Earth, the, it's school. As above, so below. I mean, it is what it is. But then when you learn from those mistakes, when you start again, you're not starting from a place of inexperience. It's not new. It may be a new environment, but it's not new to you. You have the wisdom, you gain all of that under your belt. So don't allow anything in your past, whether it's financially, emotionally, to have you in regret, to keep you stagnant or to hold you back. Look at this, oh my goodness, offering. It says here, and when I see universe, I see God. It says, God, or you say the universe, it says, will meet all your needs. Consider having a money altar. Call upon your spirit guides and angels to assist you during this time. Oh my goodness. Talk about divine timing. This time. Comfort. It says, though you are not exactly rich, you will be living comfortably. You're entering the most comfortable period of your life. Your finance, it's going to balance out. Again, talk about being patient. Just because something is not happening right now, it doesn't mean that it will never happen. And it says, though you're not experienced, though you're not exactly rich, you will be comfortable. So you may not be where you want to be, but you're going to be comfortable. My God, your God will supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory. Some of you could have been very cautious when it comes to doing things in your life, whether it's spending, not overspending, when it comes to giving or lending, for some of you, you're, you're a good steward, money manager, because a lot of you, again, you've made mistakes, even when it comes to your money. You probably made mistakes, right? 
People borrowed. You have broke the deck in half. You've had setbacks. People could have borrowed money from you, didn't pay you back, stole from you. You had some losses. You made mistakes. Investing with other people. And it's like they, they you know, they, they, it's like they took you to the cleaners, right? Probably through divorce or separation of some kind. But now you're independent. It says if you're not self-employed, it may be time to have an entrepreneur mindset. So for a lot of you, you're stepping out now. You're, you're going back out there. Yes, you made mistakes. You cried. You punched something. You kicked something. Whatever. You pulled your hair. You whatever. For however long, you isolated yourself. You withdrawn. You went over all of these things in your head. And you grieve the process. Or this is what you're encouraged to do right now. It's okay to grieve, to go through it. But you're going to get back out there. You're going to be stronger than ever. It says your financial freedom will come from being able to stand alone. You can do it. Again, your angels, your spirit team, your ancestors are here to support you. Consider investing and committing yourself to your own business. So whatever it is that you're working on is like you're going to put more of yourself into it. You're going to see it being successful. You're going to have the courage or you should or you will to get back out there. Wow. Yeah. Gaia. So that's Mother Earth. That's nature. Some of you are either called to go back into nature. Again, this card, it says the universe is working with you. Believe in its subtle magnetism to guide you. Again, God is working with you. Your angels, your spirit team is with you. To make things work out for you. So you can attract the things is like, whether this is you praying, seeking God, going out into nature, meditating, whatever. Just spending time to heal, getting grounded, getting balance here. It's going to restore, yeah, that stability in your life. Look, easy does it. Slow and steady win the race. Just because something is not happening right now doesn't mean that it will never happen. A delay does not mean a denial. Slow and steady win the race. The race is not for the swift. The battle is not for the strong. But it is to those who endure to the end. Don't compare yourself with another person. All of us, we're on our own path. We're on our own journey. Remember, a setback is a setup for a comeback. I'll say that again for somebody. A setback is a setup for a comeback. And this is, oh, yes, everything is coming full circle now. Yeah. So it's like when you start over, going out there, stepping out independently, maybe by your own, on your own, being this boss, self-employed, you're, you're, you're an entrepreneur, you taking back full control of your life in whatever way you made some mistakes, confirmation, you are now taking ownership. You are no longer blaming anybody. You're owning up to your stuff. And when you start over, again, you're not starting from the bottom. You're starting from experience. The environment you're going out into may be new, but what you're doing will not be new to you. Easy does it. Easy does it. And this is why I said don't worry about the get, the get rich quick scheme. Don't worry about all those quickly trying to to get people to love you or to marry you by dibbling and dabbling into witchcraft and all of that stuff it will not work and again what if those things what if it did work and you get the money you get somebody to stay with you not really love you because you force the issue 
It's a secret that you have to live with for the rest of your life. It is like that thorn in your flesh. Yes, people may be hyping up that person. Oh, you have this relationship. Oh, you have this money and all of these stuff. But deep down inside, it's eating them alive. Knowing what they did to get those things. And this is why so many of you, so many of us, little is much when God is in it with the comfort here. Even though you may not be rich, but guess what? You are wealthy in spirit. You can sleep at night better than the, 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 some people who are trillionaires and billion billionaires. Because you know how you accumulate your wealth, your blessings, your success. Your conscience is clear. Your heart is pure. Your hands are clean. No blood is on your hand. You have no regrets. Slow and steady. So don't be rushing. And it says it right here. Careful not to get involved with any get rich quick scheme. I'm, I didn't even read the card yet. Yeah, it's like don't be afraid. See the one little flower pushing out amongst all the rocks there. Yeah. Don't be afraid to stand alone. Don't be afraid to start afresh and new, to start from the bottom. Yeah, with the real estate here. You know, investing in yourself to build this strong, sturdy foundation here. It's like you have to lay the bricks little by little because the way you get something if the foundation is not secure, if it's not stable, mm -mm -mm. the Bible talk about it. The man who built his house on the sand and the one who built his house on the rock. Because see, when that high tide come in and crash against that house on the sand, maybe for that moment, that person on the sand, oh, they thought, oh, I have waterfront view. I'm living in luxury and all of this stuff. Because they're full of themselves. And then the wave comes and it takes it all away. Now they don't know how to build it back. Because guess what? They didn't get it the right way. And this is what separates you from them. You from them. Even if you made mistakes in life, you learn from it. You know how to survive. You know how to maneuver in the twist and turn of life. You know, with the destiny in reverse, when it's like life knocks you upside down and it feels as if you're out of control. You know how to maneuver to get back on course. But a lot of these people, when, 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 when God comes in, when God comes in and upset the things that they didn't build on a, on a firm foundation because it's like they want to steal other people's destiny. They want to destiny swap. So they want to turn your world upside down. So like I said, the way they got it, it wasn't through good way. It wasn't God's way. And when God comes in and shake up their foundation, they're like a fish out of water. They're out of place. Because what they had... It did not come from their own hands, their own sweat and brow. So don't be jealous. Don't be envious of what other people have. Slow and steady wins the race. Build your own foundation through your own sweat equity. Real estate, your own sweat equity. You partnering with divine because you ask for help you ask for help and god showed up and co-create with you don't be afraid of new beginnings little is much when god is in it like they say it's not how much you make 
but it's what you do with it. It's not how much you make, it's what you do with it. Because some people, when, when it's coming in, again, easy come, easy goes, it flow right back out. But when you know, and you know and you respect your time, your effort that you put into building whatever it is that you work on or your career or your job. No, when that paycheck comes, you're not going to be foolish with it. Again, maybe some of you, that's the mistake that was made in the past. But now you learn from it. Some of you, you learn that you can't rely on another person's job. So now you're going out to make your own business. And it's going to pay off. It's going to pay off. It's going to pay off. This loss in reverse. It's going to pay off. You're not going to have any more loss. You're going to have, you're going to have blessings now in your life. No more losses. God is for you. Who can be against you? No more losses. Wow, look. Ace of Cups. New beginning. Showers of blessings. Confirmation. Showers of blessings. This is the, the Holy Grail. This is from God. This is wish fulfillment. This is you being able to dance, celebrate, Whatever was stealing your peace, your joy, your sleep, God is restoring this to you. Yeah. You're going to get back your emotional stability. You're going to be emotionally secure, stable, and balanced. Yeah, two of cups. Yeah, it's like this union. Again, it's divine partnering with you for those of you... If it's not love, whatever it is that you could be waiting for, waiting on with this offering, you could have been praying, you could have been for a partnership, romantic or platonic. Just because something is not happening now, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Divine timing is at play. Be patient and trust the process. And through prayer and supplication, you made your request known unto God. Even if it's you alone, God is partnering with you. Again, you have your team, your spirit team. The three of cups, you're going to be happy again. You're going to celebrate with the comfort here. A lot of you, it's not about the big things, the lavish things. You're comfortable just being cozy up on your sofa with your blanket and watching a good movie with your cup of tea. It's the simple things. Like the song said, the simple things are a blessing, a blessing. The simple things are a blessing. Yeah, it's the simple things in life. But you're going to have your joy back. You're going to have your joy back. Because for a lot of you, for so long, you've been in this Four of Cups here with a lot of regrets. You know, wish again, talking about not wanting to go back out there because you're thinking about the woulda, coulda, and the whoops, what if I make a mistake again? I don't want to. And so you were dwelling on the things of the past. And it's like in the hand, in the back here, God is like knocking, like here is another opportunity. It's not over until you win. So for a long time, a lot of you, you know, it's like you were sleeping on yourself. All because of the mistakes that happened in the past. Yeah, a lot of you were in this five of cups here. But now you're going to seize this opportunity. You're going to take this cup and you're going to make a move. You're going to bust the move here with the independent card. Yeah, five of cups. A lot of you, you know, again, just a lot of emotional loss. You had to go out into nature, get grounded, 
get yourself settled. Like I say, you, you cry, you punch something, you kick something, you pull your hair, you know, you go through the grieving process, whatever it is, where you had your losses. And with your prayer, all of your tears that you cried. I mean, look, look at the field here. You know, I don't know if it's marigold, but it reminds me of that. You know, how yellow, like the sunshine, abundance, blessings, prosperity. You know, it's like all of your happiness is going to be restored to you. It's going to be restored. Easy does it. Easy does it. You're going to be able to celebrate again. Wow. It's like, don't worry about the things that you have lost. Wow, chariot and strength fell out together. Don't worry about it. To clarify, easy does it. Yeah, it's true strength, your willpower, your determination to not give up, to not give in, to persevere. It's you having the strength to tame your fears. Because see, when, when somebody get up and, and, and decide that they're going to do something, it doesn't mean that there, that there is no fear or you don't feel some kind of fear. But it's just knowing that you're not alone, that God is with you. And again, when you pray and you know you have that assurance that God gave you that yes, that promise, you got that sign to move on it. And with the eight, the infinity, I'm telling you, your blessings, your abundance unending because you learn from the past. And it's like, I believe and I know that God rewards people who don't give up, who don't quit, even when everything Everybody counted you out. Everybody underestimate you. Even sometimes when you don't believe in yourself. But is having the courage to come back. Even if people are jeering you, laughing at you. Constantly reminding you about the loss. But you know that's not a loss. That's a lesson that you learned. Because we are here to live and learn. That was only a oops. But you're not going to live forever with a what if. Because you dare to dream. You dare to take a risk on yourself. You dare to take chances. You didn't play it safe. You did not play it small. You bet on yourself. You will win. Why? Because you persevere. And this is why you overcome. Because you had, you had the stamina to endure against all odds. Look, right in the back here is the Ten of Swords. I'm telling you, against all odds. With the Page of Swords, even with people watching you. The Knight of Swords, you had, could have had people trying to cut you down. What you were working on to take you out. Wow. Wow. And yet still you stand as the king and queen of swords here in the back with this brand new creative start, the ace of wands. This is why with a lot of planning, queen of cups, your balance, a lot of balance energies here. This is what I'm saying. When you go through trials and testing in life, I'm telling you, if you're just hanging there, you're going to come out better on the other side. You're going to come out the best version of yourself. You're going to re resurrect a brand new person. You're going to come out better on the other side. I'm telling you. Yeah, in corporation or LLC. So a lot of you, you're going to open that business. It says here, move or place your business in the area of your target market. So sometimes you have to move 
to where you have the best clients right if you're if you have a you have been a business from a, a where it's like somebody have to walk into your office it doesn't make sense you you're paying rent somewhere where there is no traffic you have to put yourself where you know you're gonna get your clients and work from your heart because with the three of cups when you do what you love you never work a day in your life empress or empire energy so a lot of you you will be successful because again you're a divine masculine you're a divine feminine you're god's favorite son or daughter and everything you do and you touch it will be blessed that's just who you are you birth things yeah you bless people you're gonna now work as a team again whether this is with your spirit team you're going to co-create, collaborate with divine, you know, and whatever you're working at, clearly outline your job description. So that means if you're hiring people, they know exactly what their obligations are. When I look at that, I'll, wow, I broke the look, get ready for overflow. I can't make it up. Get ready for overflow. So with the clearly outline your job description, just to avoid any form of confusion when you hire people so everybody know where they belong, what their roles are in life, so you don't make those mistakes again. But beautiful, right? I love it for you. I love it for us. Until next time, be blessed.